This is your vinyasa flow. So we'll start um, at the front of our mats and we'll just do a quick um, all over body warm up before we begin the class. So if you just find yourself in Tadasana with your feet hip distance apart, and we'll just begin by rolling those shoulders back and down, maybe five times backwards. And then five times forwards. When you've done five times in both directions, we're just going to inhale as we lift the hands all the way up above the head, soften the knees, hinge the hips, and come all the way down into our Uttanasana forward fold. Drawing our chest over our thighs, take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, fold deeper, and then just take opposite hand to opposite elbow. Take a moment or two in ragdoll, opening up the lower back, the calves, the hips, the hamstrings, the glutes. And then just gently inhale as you come all the way back up again. We're going to take the hands together, interlace the fingers, churn the wrists. And whilst we do the wrists, we're going to churn the ankles at the same time as well. So we're going to go a bit AWOL today <laughs> and we'll do um, the first round of our sun salutations as a real deep warm up round or the first two rounds and then we'll go a little bit faster as we begin to warm up throughout the flow. So just switch over to the other ankle, sorry if you haven't already. and then we're gonna come back to centre. So finding yourself in that Tadasana position, lift the toes, spread the feet, firmly press the feet into the ground, feel the ground beneath you. Engage the legs, tuck the tailbone under, roll the shoulders back and down, suck the navel back and in, and think about lengthening through the crown of the head. Take a nice deep breath all the way in through the nose. Exhale, one more deep breath all the way in. Exhale. On the next inhale, we're going to inhale as we lift the hands up above the head, reaching up to the extended Tadasana. Soften the knees, hinge the hips. Exhale as you swan dive all the way down into your Uttanasana forward fold. So we're going into round one of Suri Namaskar A. Take the opposite hand of hands to opposite elbow and just take a ragdoll variation for this first round. You can rock from side to side, back and forth. Just take three deep breaths in this position. When you've taken three deep breaths, just gently take the hands to the floor, and then we're going to take the left foot back into a low lunge as you inhale. So drop the knee to the floor, roll those shoulders back and down, eye gaze forwards. We're just going to take three deep breaths, really reaching the heart forwards, feeling that stretch in that left hip flexor, making sure that our knee is stacked above our ankle, not in front. If you get anything, you can have it slightly behind. Take a nice deep breath in again. Exhale, step back to your down facing dog. So spread the fingers, grip them out with the hands, press through the finger, uh, press the chest through the arms, tailbone high towards the sky, and maybe just bend the knees as you alternate from side to side, pedaling through the feet, walking that dog. Take one more deep breath all the way in. Exhale, push those heels towards the floor. And then on the next inhale, we're gonna roll forwards to high plank. Option to drop the knees if you need to. And then exhale as we come all the way down to low plank or knees, chest, chin. And then inhale as you press up to cobra. Option to take sphinx if you want to, or just for the first few rounds while you warm up that lower back. And just take a moment there, rocking from side to side, opening up that front body, squeezing those glutes, pointing those toes, engaging those legs, squeezing the inner thighs, supporting your lower back. When you've taken a couple of deep breaths, just gently come back to centre, tuck the toes as you exhale, push back to down facing dog. This time we're going to soften the knees in our down facing dog and just take a few pulses through the shoulders, opening up your thoracic spine, your chest, and of course your shoulders and then when you're ready on the next inhale 
We're going to step through with our left foot between the hands, coming back into that low lunge position on the other side. Roll those shoulders back and down, chest comes through the arms, reach the heart forwards, eye gaze forwards. Feel that stretch in that right hip flexor. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale. One more deep breath all the way in. And as you exhale, step through to your Uttanasana forward fold. So again, we're going to take that ragdoll variation. Really draw the chest over those thighs, ground the head towards the floor. And just take opposite hand to opposite elbow. You can stay still, rock from the side, bounce up and down. Whatever your body is asking for you to do in this moment. Take one more deep breath in, wherever you're at. Exhale, fold deeper into the pose and then inhale as you come all the way up. Extend to Tadasana. So the next round, we're gonna go two breaths per pose. Exhale as you fold all the way back down into your Uttanasana fourth fold. Hands are on the floor. Think about inhaling as you find length in the spine. Exhaling to fold deeper over the legs. And then on the next inhale, we're gonna step back with our right foot into that low lunge position again, dropping the back knee to the floor, reaching the heart forwards, finding that stretch in that right hip flexor. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale, step back to down facing dog. Here you can just take a moment to find length in the spine as you inhale, press through the hands as you exhale, push the heels towards the floor. And then as you inhale, roll forwards to high plank. Remember, option to drop the knees if you need to. Exhale, low plank or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, press up to cobra, squeeze those glutes, squeeze those inner thighs, point those toes. Take a nice deep breath in again. And as you exhale, tuck the toes and press back to your down facing dog. Again, find length in the spine as you inhale, press the ground away, push the head through the arms, and as you exhale, push those heels towards the floor. On the next inhale, step the right foot through, find your low lunge position again on the other side. So in that left hip flexor, you should feel the stretch this time. Reach the heart forwards, roll the chest through the arms. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. And as you exhale, come into that Uttanasana forward fold. Again, find length in the spine as you inhale, exhale to fold deeper, and then inhale as you come all the way up, extended to dasana. Exhale, we're going to go down into one breath per pose, so if you get lost, just move and breathe, you'll be okay. Inhale, left foot goes back, high or low lunge this time, so option to keep that knee lifted. Exhale, step back to down facing dog. Inhale, roll forwards to high plank. Exhale, low plank, corny suggestion. Inhale, press up to cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes and press back to down facing dog. Inhale, left foot comes through, high or low lunge. Exhale, right foot comes through, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up, extended to Dasana. Exhale, last time through as you come down into your Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, right foot goes back, high or low lunge. Exhale, left foot goes back, down facing dog. Inhale, roll forwards to high plank. Exhale, low plank or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, press up to cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes and press back to down facing dog. Inhale, right foot comes through, high or low lunge. Exhale, left foot comes through, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up, extend to Tadasana. Exhale, release the arms, reset. And you should be feeling a little bit more warm. So we're going to go into our Suri Namaskar Series um, C. Um, so it's a little bit more intense. Options will be given throughout um, and just go at your own pace. So again, we'll take the first few rounds a little bit slower and the last two a little bit faster. So finding yourself in that Tadasana pose again. Take a nice deep breath in, lift the hands up above the head. Exhale, sit back into chair pose. Keep that tailbone tucked under, brace the core, suck the navel back and in. Roll those shoulders back and down, so pull them away from your ears. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, and then inhale to lift. Exhale as you swan dive all the way down into your Uttanasana forward fold. From here, we're gonna come into our flat back. So slide the hands up the shins as you inhale. 
Find that flat back tabletop position. Straighten the legs, send the hips back. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Find that nice L shape. Exhale, melt forwards. Back into your forward fold. And then here you've got the option to step or hop. If you're going to hop, lift the heels, bend the knees in towards the chest. And then jump. Everybody catches in plank. From here, exhale as you come all the way down into low plank. Inhale, press up to cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes, press back to down facing dog. So that is your vinyasa. From here, we're going to inhale as we right leg goes high to the sky, three leg down facing dog. And then swing the leg through, plant it between the hands, finding yourself in your warrior one stance. So back foot goes down at a 45 degree angle. You might want a slightly wider stance on the mat for your balance. And then when you're ready, inhale as you lift the hands up off the floor. Exhale as you sink into that warrior one lunge. So squeeze the glutes, squeeze the inner thighs and press through the floor with your feet as if you're ripping that mat in half underneath you. Pull those shoulders back and down, brace that core. So suck that navel back and in. Have a nice upright torso. Try not to lean forwards or too far back. Find that nice happy medium. Take a nice deep breath all the way in again. And then exhale, release the hands to the floor, step back to your down facing dog. And then you have the option to do that vinyasa, so high plank, low plank, cobra, or you can scoop the chest through the floor and come up into cobra or up dog with the knees lifted off the floor. Yogi's choice. Everybody tucks their toes, presses back to down facing dog. And then we're up to that step or hop to the front of the mat. So if you're going to hop, See if you can find some float time, bend the knees, set yourself up, and then when you're ready, jump. See if you can softly land with the feet between the hands, finding yourself in that Uttanasana forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Squeeze those shoulders back and down. Push the hips back, find that nice straight leg, parallel position with the mat and the floor. Exhale, fold forwards. Back into that Uttanasana forward fold. And then inhale as we come up to chair, so not quite extended steps, we'll sit back into your heels, squeeze that core, tuck that tailbone under, roll those shoulders back and down. Take a nice deep breath in, exhale, sink lower, and then inhale to lift, exhale, reset. And we'll go a little bit faster now for the next round. So inhale, extended to exhale, sit back into chair. Inhale to lift, exhale to fold into your Uttanasana forward fold. Option to step or hop back to plank. Catch and plank. And then when you're ready, take that vinyasa. So exhale, low plank or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, press up to cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes and press back to down facing dog. This time, left leg goes high to the sky. Three leg down facing dog. Swing the leg through, plant it between the hands. Find that flat, uh, 45 degree angle, flat foot against the floor on the right side. So find your warrior one stance. Roll those shoulders back and down when you're ready. Inhale to lift the hands up off the floor. Warrior one as you exhale into that lunge. Remember, engage that core, squeeze the inner thighs, squeeze the glutes, have that nice vertical upright torso. One more deep breath all the way in. Exhale, release the hands to the floor. And then we're gonna step back to that down facing dog. And you've got the option of that vinyasa or chaturanga. So if you're chaturanga and scoop that chest through the floor, flip the toes, find your up dog. Try not to put those thighs on the floor. Tuck the toes, everybody exhale as you push back to down facing dog. Option now to step or hop to the front of the mat, Yogi's choice. See if you can find a little bit more float time if you want. And then finding yourself in your Uttanasana forward fold, take the hands on top of the shins, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold deeper, and then inhale to chair. Exhale, sit deeper, inhale to lift, exhale, reset. So we're gonna go a little bit quicker now for the final two rounds. So inhale, extended chasna. Exhale, sit back into chair. If you get lost, just move and breathe. Inhale to lift, exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold deeper, plant the hands, step or hop, come back to plank. Exhale, low plank, or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, press up to cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes and press back to down facing dog. Inhale, right leg goes up. Swing it through the hand, uh, through between the hands. Find your warrior one position on the right side. 
Inhale, lift up into that warrior one. Exhale, sink deeper. Inhale to lift, exhale, take the hands back to the mat, step back to down facing dog. In, and then you're scooping through that chaturanga. So inhale as you scoop through, or vinyasa, push up to up dog or cobra. Exhale as you tuck the toes, press back to down facing dog. Look forward, bend the knees, step or hop to the front of the mat as you exhale, uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold deeper. Inhale to chair. Exhale, sit deeper. Inhale to lift. Exhale, release and reset. Final round, guys, on the left side this time for that warrior one. Inhale, extend it to dasana. Exhale, sit back into chair. Inhale to lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold deeper. Inhale, step or hop to plank. Exhale, lift ankle, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, press up to cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes, press back to down facing dog. Inhale, left foot comes through. Warrior one on the left side. Exhale, sink into that lunge. Uh, inhale to lift, exhale, hands to the floor, step back to down facing dog. We're going through that chaturanga now. So inhale as you scoop the chest through the floor, flip the toes. Come up into cobra or up dog. Tuck the toes, press back as you exhale to down facing dog. Option to step or hop to the front of the mat, yogi's choice. And then when you're ready, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold deeper. Inhale to chair. Exhale, sit deeper. Inhale to lift. Exhale, release, reset. We're going to finish with a couple of um, pigeon poses and half head to knee poses. So we're going to work our way all the way down to the ground and just begin to cool down a little bit. So we're going to heel toe our feet out to the edges of the mat, find our squat stance. Inhale as you lift the hands all the way up, put the head palms together at the top and as you exhale, come down into your garland pose. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then release the hands to the floor. Step back to your down facing dog. And then we're going to take the right leg up high to the sky. Three leg down facing dog. Bend at the knee. Bring that leg through. Coming into pigeon pose on your left side, on your right side, sorry. Finding yourself in your nice upright pigeon. Exhale, melt the body forwards. And then inhale to come all the way back up again. And then left leg is going to swivel around the outside, coming into half head to knee pose. So you're taking the left leg out straight in front of, or straight out to the side, and you flex the toes back towards you. Right foot is against the inner left thigh. Inhale to lift. Exhale to fold the body over that left leg. Reaching chest towards thigh, head towards knee. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. And then this time as you inhale, windmill the arms up and over, left hand goes back behind you. Inhale to lift and reach into that half kneeling back bend or rock star pose. Exhale, reach all the way back. And then inhale to lift, exhale to lower. Taking the hands back to the front of the mat, take that left leg back behind you, finding yourself in that seated pigeon. And then step back to your down facing dog. From here, right foot comes, oh sorry, right leg goes up. <laughs> That's not quite pigeon pose. Right leg goes up into three leg down facing dog. Bend at the knee, bring that knee through to the front left corner of the mat, or left leg, sorry, other side. It is Monday morning, can you tell? <laughs> Press the ground away, open up those hip flexors, and then exhale as you melt forwards into sleeping pigeon. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, and then inhale to lift. The right leg comes around and outside, left sole of the foot comes in towards the right inner thigh. Square the body off to that right leg. Inhale as you lift and lengthen. Exhale as you fold forward into half head to knee pose on the right side. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then inhale as you wimble the arms up and over, left hand goes back behind you. Inhale to lift and reach with that right hand up towards the ceiling. Exhale, fold back into half kneeling back bend or rock star pose. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, one more deep breath all the way in as you lift all the way up and then exhale to come back to that seated position. Hands to the mat, step back with that right leg into your 
um, seated pigeon and then step back to your down facing dog. We'll take a vinyasa. So inhale, roll forwards to high plank. Exhale, low plank, or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, press up to cobra. And then exhale as you push back to extended child's pose. We're going to do those movements one more time all the way through. So we're going to inhale as we come up into our hands and knees, tap the toes, press back to down facing dog. Inhale, right leg goes high to the sky, three leg down facing dog. Bend at the knee, bring that knee through, coming into your pigeon on the right side. Untuck those left toes. Inhale as you press the ground away. Exhale to melt the body forwards. Inhale to lift. And then exhale as you bring that left leg around to the side, setting yourself up for that half head to knee pose. So right sole of the foot is on the inner left thigh. Inhale to lift. Exhale to fold. See if you can go a little bit deeper this time in all these poses. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then ro rotate the hands all the way up and over. Left, right hand goes back behind you. Inhale to lift and reach with your left hand up towards the ceiling. Finding your half kneeling back bend or rock star pose. Exhale, come all the way back down to that seated position. Hands to the mat. Swivel that left leg back behind you. Find your seated pigeon. And then step back to your down facing dog. We're going back to the other side. So left leg goes high to the sky, three leg down facing dog. Bend at the knee, bring that knee through to the front left corner of the mat, find your upright pigeon. Inhale as you press the ground away, exhale, melt the body forwards. And then inhale as you lift, and exhale as you swivel that right leg out to the side. Left sole of the foot comes onto the inner right thigh, flex the toes back towards you, inhale to lift and lengthen, exhale to fold. See if you can go a little bit deeper, take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale, can you touch your nose towards your knee? And then inhale as you come all the way up, windmilling the arms up and over, left hand goes back behind, inhale to lift and reach with the right hand up towards the ceiling. Exhale as you reach all the way back, into that half kneeling or rock star pose. Take a nice deep breath in, exhale, and then as you inhale, lift all the way up, exhale, come back to your half head to knee pose, and then swivel the leg back into your upright pigeon. From here, press the ground away, step back to down facing dog, and we'll take another vinyasa. So inhale, roll forwards, exhale, low plank. Inhale, press up to cobra, and then exhale as you push back to extend a child's pose. From here, walk the hands as you exhale all the way over to the left. Take a nice deep breath in. One more deep breath all the way in. Exhale completely. And then as you inhale, walk the hands all the way back up to centre. And then as you exhale, walk the hands all the way over to the right. Take a nice deep breath in again. Exhale, one more deep breath all the way in. Exhale, as you inhale, walk the hands all the way back up to centre. Just take a moment there as you reach the hands forward, feel that expansion across the upper back as you inhale. Exhale. And then we're slowly going to come up onto our hands and knees, tuck the toes, walk the feet in towards the hands and come down into a seated position on our mats. From here, take the feet straight out in front of you, pull the fleshy bits of your bum out from underneath your sit bones, flex the toes back towards you. We can come into a seated forward fold. So we're going to inhale as we lift and lengthen, exhale as we reach chest towards thighs, nose towards toes, and then let the head hang. So you've got that nice length in the lower back first. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale, one more deep breath all the way in, exhale again, and then slowly inhale as you come all the way up to seated, slide the bum down towards the heels, come onto your back and bring your knees in towards your chest. Just gently rock from side to side as you massage that lower back. And then take the hands out wide in a T-shaped position, palms facing down. Think about gluing those shoulders to the floor. And as we exhale, we're going to drop the knees all the way over to the left. 
Inhale to lift and twist the head to look toward the right. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale, two more deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then slowly inhale as you lift the knees and the head back to centre. And then we'll repeat on the other side. So dropping the knees as you exhale, pull the way over to the right. Inhale to lift and twist the head to look towards the left. Three deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then slowly inhale as you bring the knees and the head back to centre. Hug the knees in tight, rock from side to side. Enjoy that gentle massage on the lower back. Acknowledge your practice. And then whenever you're ready, just gently roll over onto the right side of the body and come all the way up to seated. Finding yourself in the centre of your mat. In a seated position, we'll just take one final deep inhale as we lift the hands up above the head, hands together at the top. As we exhale, bring the hands to the forehead, kind thoughts. To the lips, kind words. To the heart, kind feelings. Namaste.